Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a TVP T5051. It's on the north spawn of Overlord under the command of Jiffy of Otter. And alongside him is Clan Spotlight 69 in the M48 pattern and Arpenheimer in the T95E6. Now, TVP, it's an assassin. It's a tier 10 check tank with a 100mm gun and the capability of doing 1280 alpha in 4.5 seconds of the first shot. Now it's a very fast firer but it also does have a fairly long magazine reload but uh, so long as you don't get in the way of the enemy, enemy, enemy shells you can actually do quite well with it because uh, it has thin armor, but uh, so long as it stays out of reach of the enemy whilst it reloads, yep, it can keep on assassinating the enemy. Uses standard APCR and heat ammo as the premium. Okay, we've got, oh, it's our opposite number. One shell in, two, three, and pulls back. 986 hit points of damage, three shots in. He's opted for straight away for a reload. Only one shell from the enemy TVP managed to make it through. Okay, from this angle, it looks like he's going to try another shot on that TVP. And there's a T95 FB4201. That's the Chieftain with the um, modified hull. It's not the Centurion uh, Chieftain hull, but um, the American version. Okay, well, we're waiting for the reload, and yes, we're ready to go. Where's our targets? There's the TVP. There's the Centurion. He just took a hit from one of our guys. Put one into the action gen. Pulled back. And there comes the TVP. Managed to sneak all the way around, and he was just on the opposite side of the road to us. And I think he knows he's been spotted, so he's pulling back. Jiffy asked for... Um, fire on him as well I think and oh reloads almost complete one in two three and the finishing shot yes he got the kill 939 hit points of damage 1280 is not normally enough to actually wipe out oh this would be a bit, bit, bit use, useless 430 you yeah, getting in the way 1280 hit points is not normally enough to wipe out an enemy heavy or an enemy medium but it certainly can put a lot of damage into them all at once. The Centurion's taken one. That one missed. That's gone in. Third one in. 869 hit points off that one. He's now up to 3k of damage. And the Action 10's gone down. Right, he's just got to complete the reload. There's the TVP T5051. I think that may be the one that we actually hit the first time. The enemy's team's got two of them. Okay, he's going to go for the cram bar, and he's going to shoot him up the ass, Klaus Kellerman style. Here we go. One, two, three, and a kill shot. Lovely, beautifully done. He's now up to 4.3k of damage. Now, he's just in reload, so again, he needs to stay careful not to get seen by the enemy whilst he's uh, unloaded. Almost there. Oh, we've got a Death Star now. One in. Two took around from Object 140 to the south. Is he going to pop up for another? Yes! I think that Death Star's going to be looking in this direction, so probably not worth... Yeah, he's gone for a reload. Not worth looking this way at that moment. We've lost one of our team platoon mates, unfortunately. He got killed a little while back. But Arpenheimer is still with us. Okay, we've loaded up on heat to deal with this 60 TP and the Death Star. Here comes the 60 TP. He knows we're in here. One in to track him. Two to kill. Three. Four in. He needs to pull back. Oh! That was explosive. That was a griller. And unfortunately, we've lost Arpenheimer, the enemy RT, and he's just hit us as well. The enemy have got a batch at 155, 58, and he's got three shots, and there's the Death Star. We're still in reload. It looks to me like that batch at is somewhere to the southwest. 
Now, we're loaded, ready to go. Just pop up and kill that Death Star, so long as he's not looking in our direction at the moment. And that's one of the shots from the RT. There he is. Oh, no, it didn't go in. That's a kill. And he was seen. He's opted to go straight for a reload, even though he's still got two shells. It's good that he actually signifies to his teammates that he is in reload, either using the F8 key or the C key, depending on what mods you've got. But uh, it certainly does help let your team know that you're not able to fire just yet and how long it will be before you can open fire. And the Object 140 is distracted. We get one in, two that tracks him, three does it track him again, and he gets a third one, the fourth one in. So he only got two shots in there, but two tracking shots. And that 430U bumped into us earlier in the game. He's taken a bit of damage. And that's the T92. And he's obviously on the beach as well. So both enemy RTs are in the southwest on the beach. And we've lost the 430U. We're almost loaded. One in. Oh, did that go through? That one did. That one did. Oh, and we didn't get a kill shot with our last one. But the RT is on the ball and takes out the 140. The Object 261 got that one. So we do have good RT on our team. Now, I think Jiffy is thinking about going for that RT, really, because he is being a bit of a pain. He's been hit twice by RT now. And last shot took away 155 hit points of damage. But I'm pretty sure that he um, did lose a considerable amount to the last time. Yeah, 365 to that bat chat. Now, I don't think the RT is down this way. But it is a good way of getting down to the south without being spotted by the other tanks. And we know that the enemy does have two IS-7s, although they've been seen up near our cap. They can't do anything up there because there's a mouse and the Gorilla 15 in attendance. And somewhere there's a T-110E4 as well. Okay, they're not here, which means they must be on the beach somewhere. There's a, probably a good chance that those RT have relocated north by now. If they're any good, then they know that P stands for propelled and they get the hell out of here. And it looks to me like Jiffy's going to go up on top of the cliff, see if he can spot them and shoot them from up on high. And he's found the T124 and he's been seen. Pulls behind the rock for cover. He's got the bunker for cover here as well. Gets one in to track him. Oh, an enemy RT gets him. So he was seen. The enemy RT dialed in on him. And the bat chat was ready with 155mm round. So he's out the action. But the enemy T-110E4 has been killed by our T-92. And that means we're now watching the mouse play against the IS-7s. When they were last seen, they were a bit further north. But this is a fairly good position to shoot down on them if they do go to the cap. But I don't think they are going to go to the cap. I'm pretty sure they're hunting. Oh, and here's the IS-7. He's not looking this way. And he takes a hit. And I think the mouse is going in for some ram as well. And he gets some. And the arty's helping out and trying to, but he stunned us. And we go for some more ram, and the gorilla takes the kill, was it? No, it was the T-92 took the kill. But it has stunned us. And there's one of the enemy tanks, it's an Object 263. Well, no, it's the RT-261, sorry. And he's gone as well, taken out by the Gorilla 15. But we did attract some enemy RT fire. Only 415 hit points left. Here's the other IS-7. And he's looking our way. Oh, and we've gone. But that IS-7, well, he's now one shot for the gorilla. And he, oh, he's just taken another RT round. So he's 156 and the gorilla just wipes him out with one shot. And that means now it's three tanks versus two. <laughs> two RT 
And uh, Gorilla 15 versus 2 RT. Well, I think this is going to be a fairly short battle, actually, because the Gorilla is an absolute monster when it comes to that 15 centimeter gun. It really is so OP. And both these RTs, well, they're both going to be ready the moment the Gorilla spots where they are. There's one. <laughs> and RT round takes out the T92. So they pick up the uh, the remainder of that vehicle. Gorilla picks up the hit points. Now we've just got to find the last batch at. There he is! He's being targeted. Artie fires in and gets there before Gorilla gets his shot out. And the game's over. It is a victory. Although a bit sad that all of Jiffy's platoon died in the process. So let's have a look and see what the end of battle stats say. Well, it's an ace tanker for Jiffy of Otter in the TVP T5051. He got a fire for effect and a bruiser medal out of the miners. Out of the epics, though, he picked up the high caliber. He did the most damage in that battle overall. 7,865 is the win eight. So he certainly was trying to carry that team. 7.6k of damage. 7,570 hit points, actually, of damage. Uh, the next highest scorer was, in fact, the Object 140 on the enemy team with 3829. He picked up a tank sniper award and then came their chieftain, the T95 FB4201. He got 3,667 hit points and picked up a confederate as well. Um, where's Oppenheimer and um, uh, Clan Spotlight? Well, Clan Spotlight's there. He got 318 hit points before he was out of the game. Oppenheimer did a bit better. He got 2,460 hit points, but he sadly didn't get any kills before he was out of the game. Uh, but when it came to kills, it was actually the Gorilla and the T92 that managed to do the best. They got three kills apiece, and then Jiffy came in after that with two kills, as well as the 261, the Chieftain and several tanks on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, Jiffy's at the top of the table, 1,301 base experience points, 829 for the Gorilla 15, and 799 for the mouse. Uh, we've got uh, Oppenheimer getting in 770 there, and Clan Spotlight picked up 565, which is not bad. So let's have a look at detail. Jiffy fired 35 shots in that um, in that tank. He got 33 direct hits, 24 penetrations. So a few of the shots did get blocked by the tracks, I'm afraid. Uh, damage of 7,570 hit points, uh, all of it at close range. Five hits received, three penetrations, no non-penetrations, and three hits as a result of splash damage. And I'm afraid that shows that the TVP is fairly vulnerable when it comes to getting hit. It's very, very light armor to make it go fast. So you don't really want to get hit by any rounds, uh, whether they be HE or AP. And he spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged eight of the enemy, killed two, did 1,744 hit points of damage assist. And on a... Premium count, this is on premium, I'm afraid it's a fault with the replay manager. It's showing 70,751 credits earned, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, he actually made a small loss, and that's because he did use a fair bit of AP, um, heat ammo during that game. So, uh, yes, he ended up with a deficit of 24,755 credits. He received two bonds for the actual awards, uh, that's for the high caliber at uh, tier 10, and 18 for the battle, so he took away 20. And he got 1,301 XP, and there was no multiplier, so that's all he took away. But a very good game there by Jiffy, and that's going to be added to Jiffy's playlist, because we're going to have a Jiffy playlist from now on for all his battles. He seems to have a rather a lot of them available for us, and some of them are really, really good. So uh, do hit that subscribe button, notification bell for when these replays come out, because you will want to miss some of them. They are absolutely humdingers. Thanks for watching.